Hey viewers, Backward Barbecue here. Today I'm going to do a tutorial in Hit Film on how to take a motion track and apply it to a mask. This tutorial will work in Hit Film Express. If you do have Hit Film Pro, there is another way of doing it involving Mocha. You would just export the footage into Mocha, track your object, and export that mask back into Hit Film. However, Mocha wants to track every single point of the mask, and in some cases can actually create more work than it actually saves. And I would like to apologize because my video recorder did skip in a couple random places, but it should still be easy to follow. And so today we're going to take this pretty famous footage from Jurassic Park. And the idea is to replace that dinosaur with whatever you want. And probably one of the first things you'll notice is there isn't any way to motion track and apply that to this mask. This is because instead of using the regular transform, this is path. So we're going to go ahead and get rid of this mask. And what we're going to do is add a new point layer. On our footage, we are going to add a motion tracker. You can use a single point or a double point. For this tutorial, we're going to use a single point because it's all I need for this particular track. You want to find a good place on the object you're tracking that has high contrast. Remember, the red box is the what you are actually tracking, and the green box is where it can move from frame to frame. We're also going to make sure that we use the same frame for everything we do. Uh, we're gonna, So I'm just going to use frame zero because it's easy to do. I'm going to run this track forward. That looks good. So this is the most important part of this whole process. You must do it in this particular order or it will not work. What we're going to do is apply the transform to that new point and apply it. Then we're going to stabilize. You cannot get those two steps backward or it won't work. Now if we head back to the viewer, you'll notice that point that we tracked is now dead center and will stay center as the frame moves around. To move it back to central position, let's go back to this frame zero and go to the transform under controls and copy this data that is in anchor point into the position and so now frame zero matches the original footage but if we play it we'll notice that it will jump around a little bit but the mirror stays perfectly still the next thing we're going to do is take your footage right click your footage and select make new composite you can name it whatever you want, but make sure you click Move With Clip. Now, as you scrub through this, you'll notice part of this footage is getting cropped over here at the top and on the sides. So to make sure we don't lose any of that, we're going to go into the settings for this composite shot and make the resolution large enough that nothing gets cropped. Keep in mind we are restricted to 4K. If we head back to our original footage, Make sure we're on frame zero, and on that composite shot we just made, parent it to that point. So now if we play it, the footage stays in its original position. But if we apply a mask to this now, and go a little bit loose with this one, but at this point you'd want to take your time and get a real good mask. In our mask properties, you'll want to click this little toggle right here to invert it. So now, if we play our footage, we'll want to come in here to like this point here where there's the most of it is visible. And just move these up. And now we're good. Now we can add whatever footage you want behind. 
and then replace the text back over the top. That's it for today's tutorial. If you liked it, please like and subscribe, and maybe I can make some more of them.